in the hell did a couple of different things play out the way they did last night? The first thing is the guy that you guys know I've had uh, my uh, I've had in my crosshairs for quite some time now, and that's Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos comes with the first inning. Runners on first and second. He has an opportunity to do some damage. Strikes out. Thanks very much. Nick Castellanos comes up to the plate in the third inning. Again, runners on first and second. What does he do? He lines out to right field. Great diving catch. Great play. The Braves made on it. They're fine. But still, 0 for 2. Runners in scoring position each time he's at the plate. And he's your four-hole hitter. Nick Cassianos has to be a lot better. I don't, there's no other way to say it. And I have been talking about how Rob Thompson needs to give him a, a day off. He needs to give him a break. I very much doubt you're going to give him a break in the Brave series here, but it's not getting much easier for the Phillies going forward as we went over his schedule, went over the Phillies schedule numerous times yesterday. Nick Cassianos needs to be a lot better than what we're seeing yesterday. Takes the collar 0 for 4 yesterday in game one against the Atlanta Braves, when you're fighting for your playoff lives. These games, like I always say, count the same as they do at the end of the year. Now is the time to perform. Hey, look, he just had a four-hit game against the Padres. That's great. A win is a win. Phenomenal. But a win of the division feels a lot better because you know you're going to be facing these guys as the season starts to wind down and you're really jockeying for position. So right now, Looking at Nick Cassiano's struggle, I am looking forward, and it probably won't be until they take on the, the Washington Nationals again that can actually give him a break in the lineup, and hopefully he snaps out of this slump that he has been in. Folks, I, I've been tracking it. I'll give it to you one more time here. <clears throat> uh, yesterday was the 28th. Today's the 29th. Nick Cassiano still has not hit a home run in the month of June. That's bonkers. Now, to delve into that third inning play a little bit, they made a great play on the ball, no, no doubt about that. Uh, it was almost a triple play. It was called a triple play on the field. Or really, according to Rob Thompson, he didn't see any umpire make a call. So that's why they ended up reviewing it. Runners on first and second. Nick Castellanos lines out to right. Reese Hoskins is just standing there on second base thinking the ball was trapped. I was watching the game, like many of you on television, and I, in no way, shape, or form, thought that ball was trapped. I, and I, I would assume Reese Hoskins, live and in person, would have a better idea as to whether or not that ball was trapped. And I would assume that if it wasn't, he would know that because he's right there on the field. But instead, and it's not the first time we've seen him look just completely confused on the base pass, which is, I think, out of character for Reese Hoskins on the base pass. I've seen him get full of the plate numerous times. We all have. But when it comes to him, or you know, making mistakes as a first baseman, but on, on the base pads, we've seen him take make two big mistakes and getting caught in line drive situations. And that was one of them yesterday. Kyle Schwarber's on second base. Kyle Schwarber does the right thing. He sees that the ball is caught and he tags up and he takes third. Good for Kyle Schwarber. It ended up being a double play. But how in God's name, if you're Reese Hoskins, do you not understand what's going on? It's a near situation, too. You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. But you're still going to have time to make it back to first base or make it a second if you go halfway because they're not popping up and making a perfect throw. The fact that he went the entire way thinking it was trapped is ridiculous. Rob Thompson said after the game, and we'll get to it, that nobody made a call, so everybody was confused on it. Phillies ended up getting a little bit i don't even call it a break they didn't get the triple play so good for them they were able to keep a runner on third base whoop de doo but still not enough damage done in the inning like you needed to get damage done in that inning and you ended up excuse me <clears throat> uh not doing anything because jt romuto stepped up to the plate later and ended up lining out to right field again another line out to right so it was a confusing play but bottom line is if nick castellanos is actually hitting the baseball and Nick Castellanos is trying to carry some of this weight now that's going to be left behind with Bryce Harper not being in the lineup, which, by the way, was actually some decent news we'll get into. But when it comes to this whole situation, Nick Castellanos has got to be the one to produce. I saw people...